Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So obviously everybody knows about this already. We're going to be breaking down the trailer for Arc Genesis. It's kind of like a teaser more than a trailer, to be honest. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to break it down. But first, we're going to actually play the trailer in full so you guys can see it. Um, and then we're going to start looking at the finer details. And I'm going to show you guys some screenshots and all the good stuff. But uh, guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you are hyped for Genesis. And yeah, let's go. Okay, so let's get going. So she's obviously going to be talking, but first of all, I just want to point out that this right here is actually the tunnel we've been seeing in all those teasers on that countdown website, which is awesome. But Helena is talking to us. We are in the kind of Ascension tech form. She's basically telling us that... Uh, she can't come with us to where we need to be going, but she's going to give us a bot, and then she starts to create that. It's kind of interesting right here. We have a Megapithecus on the island. I don't know if that's kind of trying to say something to us, but it could just be like stock footage that they're adding in. Anyway, it's fighting off against a Giga. I don't know. It could be something. We never know. Play. There we go. Got uh, it. This kind of just looks like the island, but it might not be. It's kind of hard to tell because there's, there's not much here, but there's a bunch of mammoths, uh, Megaloceros, and a Dara Wolf, and a bunch of players walking with them. Could just be stock footage. You never know. And then this is in the redwoods on the island. You can see some ruins back there. We've got a player with a baby raptor and an otter. So she just mentioned the arrival is soon. Now, who is arriving? If you guys have played Extinction, then you'll know if you defeat Extinction on Alpha difficulty, you get a tiny little teaser cutscene at the very end. And it's uh, it's essentially showing that when all the arcs came back to Earth, Rockwell came with the Aberration one. Aberration is one single arc. Like there's not multiple versions of Aberration. There's only one. Um, so she knows Rockwell is coming back. She's saying for the arrival. So obviously that hasn't happened yet. So this might be like a side storyline where we're not playing as the character that did all the stuff in Extinction. We're actually playing as a character that's uh, just completely different. Maybe Helena's being like helping this person out, trying to get them to complete the other part of what she needs done. But Rockwell is coming. And I believe that Maybe in this one, we might not see Rockwell or have to do anything, but I believe that Rockwell's probably going to be in part two. Just a theory in my mind, but she's saying like for the arrival. So obviously he hasn't gotten there yet, or maybe he has gotten here, but he's just not being able to do anything. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. She gets into the robot. <laughs> so... With that, uh, we get taken to this environment right here. There is an active volcano. There's giant, like, 
freaking meteor I, what do you call them when they're coming out of a volcano i don't know there's giant like rocks flying out of the volcano because it's erupting and bam right down here we have the lava lizard which is what they're calling it right now that's probably not the final name for it um and then helena's like she's got a temperature gauge here and it's obviously really high she's basically like well you know this is probably not a good starting point so she's gonna take us to somewhere else um but yeah this thing is like super hostile they actually talked about this thing in a little bit of detail uh, i'll give it to you right now so basically um they mentioned how it's kind of like a siege weapon type creature uh it would have some sort of like aoe attack where if it feels threatened it can just leak it sounded like they were saying it can kind of just like leak lava out around it and create things like create fire around it or something they also said it's kind of like a walking forge which means that you can smelt metal inside of him somehow i don't know um <laughs> and then they also uh i think they also mentioned that it was weak against water and if it's in around lava it's going to be super strong so i don't know how it's going to work bringing this to maps that don't have like lava but imagine bringing this to like um the wyvern trench or something on ragnarok or or scorched earth and just like sitting in the lava waiting for all the wyverns and just killing them as they come up to you be kind of crazy but i imagine he'll be able to like shoot fire or something and i don't know it's probably gonna have some crazy attacks uh maybe even being able to like kind of have like a trebuchet kind of attack where it can like sling a rock of like magma at bases or something like that because they did say it was more of a siege weapon and trebuchet is a siege weapon so i don't know we'll have to see but yeah helena bot wants to go you can see actually right there let's just go back for a second look at its crown it's like there's fire flying out of all those little bits there uh so helena brings us to here which is another environment uh, we've got this tiny little Jerboa looking creature. It picks up a crystal and it eats it. And she's trying to scan it, but it starts transforming. So that is an, it's actually a tameable creature. It looks crazy right now. It's a tameable creature. It's a shoulder mount. Uh, so you can actually like walk around with one of those tiny things on your shoulder. And uh, it's basically just a fat Jerboa to be honest. But um, if you feed it element, uh, which I guess I don't know if those crystals are exactly element or something like that, but um, if it eats element, they said, so maybe that might be like a different form of element that we can like refine into actual element that we have from like previous DLCs or element dust or something. Uh, but yeah, so if they eat any of that, they can actually transform. So it's tameable and when it transforms, it's rideable. So you can throw it down and <laughs> it's going to be absolutely crazy when you actually like throw one of these things down on the battlefield and then just hop on the on, onto the back of it and just like ride in at your enemy because this thing honestly looks crazy but this next part is a new weapon did you see that it's i kind of missed it a little bit there we go okay let's actually go back and just rewatch that so those are called the tech claws and it's a new weapon i don't know if it's like an attachment to your gauntlets whatever you're wearing but um it's really hard to get like a good frame of it there we go but you can see you can kind of like jump with it and maybe do like a punch attack or something uh, so it's gonna be like a melee weapon essentially and uh there we go that's a decent shot out of it uh so it's made out of tech and i'm really excited for it it looks dope i can't wait to actually try that um it's gonna be like a close quarter kind of uh weapon which we don't really see a huge amount of those nowadays so really excited to actually see this so we jump at him and then right here is where it just builds together the new arc logo for genesis part one bam that is an amazing logo by the way i love this one it's probably my favorite i think i honestly think it is <laughs> so this is the season pass it's gonna be available right now you can actually buy it right now it costs 30 euro and whatever the hell like i, I think it costs 35 dollars it's all to do with exchange rates and everything so 30 euro is reasonable i mean it's two dlcs so 15 each so that's not too bad it's actually cheaper than what the previous dlcs were which they were like 20 each so now it's pretty much 15 euro each which is great uh so you get this right now we're gonna do a video on that asap so make sure that you guys hit the bell button to see that uh and then obviously here is the logo for genesis part one genesis part two looks exactly like this but i imagine they just don't have a proper logo for it or maybe events that happen in genesis can affect what this is going to look like i'm talking purple crystals maybe i don't know just a thought 
but um people have been saying that maybe it's coming out in january february because it, that's technically winter in some places i don't believe that that's true uh but i i would probably say it's going to come out around october november december next year which is kind of disappointing because it's super far out but you know i mean they're going to take their time to work on it and it's probably going to be amazing so i'm super excited uh let me also just show you guys some screenshots because they showed off a few little screenshots on the stream here we go so first of all this is something that they didn't mean to show off it's a fish net so it's got like a glow in the dark thing as well and they just have pictures of real life people using fishing nets and uh this is going to be really cool they actually had a net gun in the dev kit for the longest time it's still probably in there uh, but they never used it i do believe it was supposed to come out with scorched so this is obviously a new version of like i guess the fishing basket i don't really see the point of it but it's probably going to have some sort of use on the uh the genesis map where we have that giant turtle which we'll show you guys in a second so super cool uh, right here we have the lava lizard again we've got a knockoff syntax back here it would have been really funny if they had the cyan dreads i feel like that would have been just amazing but they didn't <laughs> so it's okay uh, right here he's actually wearing a bit of uh, radiation suit and he's also wearing some desert cloth so that's kind of interesting helena bot here is freaking out and uh there's not really much else to show here but yeah this thing looks awesome next picture uh we've got helena in that portal area and obviously it actually reacts to you in terms of emotes and everything so it's gonna be really cool again i'm gonna check that out in a few minutes so make sure that you stick around for that uh right here we have those little gremlin dudes they don't have a name yet they've been calling him the shapeshifter he's gonna eat these crystals and turn into that giant werewolf it's gonna be terrifying and i cannot wait for them uh it's gonna probably be like the main shoulder mount that you have on like all the time on this map so that's gonna be really awesome but there's a ton of them around here and there's tons of these crystals so that's kind of terrifying what happens if they all eat them and then transform and then pull you apart because they're werewolves i don't know uh, right here we have a shot of the tech claws against the werewolf dude uh just crazy looking oh man and then we obviously have the giant turtle here in another shot and this is actually it from below they talked a little bit about what it can do and everything it is tameable and uh you can build on the back of it which is great but it also actually like makes resources on the back of it because it's got like plants and stuff on it and i assume it's gonna obviously give you some sort of rare resources so it's gonna be kind of similar to the to the gotcha but also slightly different uh they also talked about the fact that there is plant life on it which means that when you are submerging with him he will actually give you oxygen it will like create oxygen from him so that's really cool um and they're obviously gonna have to do something about if you have other players on there that are unconscious a way of like keeping them in him they talked a little bit about that as well but they didn't really give proper details so there might be a way to actually put people inside of him or something like that i don't know um but yeah super awesome what do you guys think about all this stuff uh have you bought the season pass yet honestly i know it's more money that you have to pump into the game but it's gonna be worth it i think it looks fantastic um i'm really really excited so if you guys are too make sure they hit the like button and subscribe do all the stuff and again, I'm going to make a video about the Helena bot and we'll catch you in the next one. Where you're going, survivor, I cannot follow. Others need me and your path leads beyond my reach. But I can grant you a fragment of myself as a guide to find what is most important to your ultimate survival. Is it strength? Is it willpower? Is it empathy? They arrive all soon. The test is a rigorous. They will be difficult. They will be deadly. Apparently, they're starting now.